Highly beloved of the Lord, I appreciate you joining me on the Healing Streams Reflection. The title for today's post is Results of Prayerlessness. Results of Prayerlessness. Beloved, I believe with all my heart that it is God's desire that we have a dynamic prayer life. For without it, we cannot be spiritually alive. The Lord told Israel, Awake, awake, put on thy holy strength, O Zion. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. And therefore, it's very, very important for you and I to understand that God has purposes for us. And therefore, prayer is one of the means that help us to discover God's plans, purposes, and will for our lives. But at the same time, there are certain things that also happen to people who do not pray. And that is what I want us to take a closer look at in this presentation or in this post. Why God requires us to pray. What the Lord promises as a result of prayer. I pray that immediately after God speaking to you, you find a place to get alone and say, Lord, by your Spirit, touch my heart. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Make me a person of prayer. Beloved, the word is vital to our spiritual growth. And that is why it's very, very important to take time to read the scriptures each and every day. It's very, very important. Meditate on it each and every day. As a means of seeking his face. Precious vessel of God. How about hearing sorry? I won't be able to meet with you this afternoon. Will your friend be offended? Or that person be offended? Because once upon a time, I told a friend that, sorry, I won't be able to meet with you this afternoon. I've got to spend time with the Lord. Perhaps the greatest lesson I learned in those early days of my ministry was this. The anointing that rested on me was in direct proportion to the time I spent in the presence of the Lord. That's why I've never wavered from the practice of shutting myself away for several hours before coming to church to preach to the congregation. I simply must get alone with God. You see, one of the first principles taught in Scripture is that when you turn away from the Lord, prayer ceases and the presence of the Holy Spirit departs. Adam and Eve once heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. That's what Genesis chapter 3, 8 tells us. Yet, they listened to Satan and the same verse 8 says, hid themselves from the presence of the Lord. What is the result of a prayerless life? It is more than separation from God. It results in punishment. The words spoken through the prophet Jeremiah should give you cause for concern. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know not 
that know thee not and upon the families that call not on thy name jeremiah 10 25. it is sovereign thought to know that god will judge the prayerless with the hidden and there are at least few things that will happen to people who do not pray number one the good in their lives is replaced with evil the good in their life is replaced with evil there are consequences for those who say depart from us for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways what is the almighty that we shall serve him and what profit should we have if we pray unto him job 21 14 to 15. the word says look they are good it's not in their hand the counsel of the wicked is far from me job chapter 21 verse 16. but when the lord is sought by an individual good will always be the result and blessings will always follow their footsteps to life. Then secondly, the second thing that will happen to people who do not pray is that God is no longer their counselor. When prayer is lacking in the life of a person, it is impossible for that individual to receive guidance from the Lord. In fact, that individual often is led into harmful situations and end up in the world of the ungodly. For so only the ungodly refuse the counsel of the Lord. That is why Job 21, 16 says, The counsel of the wicked is far from me. But if we seek the Lord, we will find his counsel stand sure forever. Psalm 33 verse 11 clearly tells us, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. Then thirdly, one of the things that will happen to people who do not pray is that whatever they touch is destroyed. When prayer is missing, not only do goodness and counsel depart, but sorrow is added. Job 21, 17 states, how oft is the candle of the wicked put out and how oft cometh your destruction upon them god distributeth sorrows in his anger prayerless individuals are destroying everything in their path their marriages their families their carers but when they pray the results will always be heaven's best then the fourth thing that will happen to people who do not pray prayer is the anchor that will keep a life grounded a life grounded it's like when ship come ashore the ship is grounded now those without it are as stubble before the wind and as chaff that the storm carries away. Job 21, 18. How can an individual expect to build a steady, unshakable family without a strong foundation? It's impossible. There is only one way to lay the cornerstone and that is on your needs. Beloved, the fifth thing that will happen to people who do not pray is that iniquity is brought upon their children. Iniquity is brought upon their children. We read in Job chapter 21 verse 19, God layeth up its iniquity for his children. Do you remember what God told the children of Israel? 
he promised that if they followed his command, the Lord's blessing will be handed down for generations. Yet disobedience will result in the sins of the fathers being visited upon the children and upon children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. Exodus chapter 34 verse 7. Beloved, when someone stops praying, they run the risk of harming the future of their sons and daughters. And this is what is happening in a lot of families all over the world. People who take their Bible and on Sunday go to church. But after that two or three hours in church, they go home and they never pray. They never read the Bible. They never even meditate. A family that pray together, that fellowship together, that meditate on the word of God together, that eat together, is a very strong and stable family. If you love your children, stay before the Lord. Then finally, my dear brother, my dear sister, the last thing that will happen, not the least, to people who do not pray, who are prayerless in their life, is that their future is harmed. Their future is destroyed. What does tomorrow hold for the person who does not pray? Look at what Job chapter 21 verse 20 tells us. His eyes shall see his destruction. And he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what pleasure hath he in his house after him? When the number of his members is cut off in the midst. Job 21, verse 20 to 21. My dear brother and my dear sister, after life without God, there's nothing that remains. But what a marvelous life awaits the prayerful believer, both here and eternally. And that is why there's always reasons for you to pray. It is my prayer that if your prayer life seems to die, may this message rekindle you and go back into the presence of God and start waiting upon the Lord. At least every day, 30 minutes. And before you go to bed too, spend some few minutes talking to God. And by so doing, you honor God's message in which he says, oh, you couldn't even wait with me for just one hour. My dear brother, my dear sister. Have you seen why you are failing? Now God has given you the solution. Embrace it. And work with it. May God strengthen you for yet a new beginning. And some of you, may God revive you and go back to the garden and start praying as previously you were doing. And if you do it more, to the glory of God. Bye for now.